Ukrainian women and gifts. Why gifts are so important? Did you know, guys, that gifts can literally make or break your relationship from right the very first date with Ukrainian woman? And depending on the gift you choose, you can actually attract a gold digger or a real genuine Ukrainian woman. Why it is so important that are good gifts and what are bad gifts to attract a right girl for you? Hi, my name is Vita. Welcome to new edition Ask Vita Live. And today we are discussing good and bad gifts for Ukrainian women while you are in relationships with them or even when you just uh, decide to build and if it will be your first date. So guys, today we are discussing main tips how to clarify uh, what can... Um, what can make you happy actually what can help you to build good and happy relationship with ukrainian woman by giving her the right presents the right gifts okay and how to avoid actually uh, common mistakes which uh, actually not only you foreign guys doing but also local ukrainian men sometimes they miss the main idea about the presence and sometimes they can do really great mistakes that can actually spoil everything from the very beginning so I guess, guys, uh, no need to explain you why, uh, uh, to explain you the importance of giving presents to women, especially here in Ukraine. That's absolutely normal, you know, for any man in the world to give something for his woman, uh, to his woman, to present gifts. Good and right man always uh, will feel good at this moment. He will feel that he is necessary, important. He will feel actually uh, he is a hero for her. And, you know, for some women, it's really very important to get gifts, to receive gifts, uh, because um, they will only then they will feel loved by their men. Do you know uh, very famous five love languages? And one of the most important points about this is gifts, receiving gifts. Uh, gifts is the kind also of visual symbol for uh, of your love. And the woman who uh, received your gift, she will always take a look on it and think, ah, he was thinking about me at this moment, uh, he, was, uh, he wanted to please me, he spent time for choosing it, he also spent some money, so he invests something in me, and actually he, want me, uh, he, want, he wanted to make me happy. That's the main idea. And there are some uh, specific type of some women uh, and they consider gifts as a symbol of your love. So they can actually judge you and your attitude to her um, depending on the uh, quality of uh, gifts of presents you give her. So that's why it is so important. And, you know, uh, <clears throat> You need to understand what to what to present here, when and how. And actually, you, you need to know that some good, we are go, uh, talking about good Ukrainian women, they will feel really shy to tell you what actually they really like and uh, what they expect from you, especially at the beginning of relationship. If you are communicating already a few months, if you maybe saw each other face to face and you had this individual uh, meeting, you know, in in this case, uh, it will be much easier for you if you will be attentive and if you will be caring and if you will listen to her. But <clears throat> if it's just the first date and of course you want to surprise her, to please her, for you uh, will be uh, maybe some issue. And of course, uh, if we're talking about bad women, you know, if you planning to have just first date and if you will ask women what you would like to get as a present for this first um, date, uh, the woman actually will... Um, will tell you that she would like to have something expensive. She, she won't tell literally something expensive, but she will ask maybe for some mobile phone, for some gold, you know, jewelry, uh, some maybe um, equipment or some facility, electronic facility, you know, like a laptop or netbook for her kids or something like this. That can be actually uh, the great red flag for you guys to understand this is not the right woman because really good and modest. And why? woman who doesn't want to look as a scammer who doesn't want to look as a gold digger in your eyes at least from the beginning of relationship of course she will try to be as modest as she can remember we discuss it a lot in our previous videos that uh, good women they will even reject uh, to get some money from you or really expensive stuff because you know 
it's it's a problem with the local guys and they don't want to 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 be like uh, like uh, she has some depth and uh, she need to do something instead and you know um I see it's very difficult for some of you guys really to understand what means good and bad present for Ukrainian women. As far as Western uh, women's mentality uh, quite differs from Ukrainian women's mentality. So uh, let's try to clarify and uh, I hope I will help you to have at least a better understanding. Uh, and we are going to discuss main tips about how to make good and appropriate present in order to please your Ukrainian women, of course, and to make her actually happy. You know, uh, I'm going to guide you about what you should never present here in order to make mistake and in order to come across uh, for the gold digger. Uh, hello, Andrew. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what she can resell. Yeah. Hello, Harry. Nice to see you as well. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining us. I also want to remain, uh, remind you, as far as some, girl, uh, some guys uh, joined us right now, uh, we have our um, live streams, our ep live episodes every Thursday, 1 p.m. Ukrainian time, which is uh, 7 a.m. Eastern time, and also Saturday and Sunday, 6 p.m. Ukrainian time, which will be noon 12 p.m. Eastern time. So don't forget. Uh, please also don't forget to subscribe our channel. If some of you still didn't do it, please do me this great favor by simply clicking subscribe button in the lower right of the screen, guys. And of course, you are welcome uh, with your questions because I think this topic is also very interesting for you. Uh, yeah, my day is good, Harry. Yeah, mm, I would like uh, Historic Lake also join us today because he always has these questions about presents, what are good, what are bad presents. So I think a lot of guys still confused what is considered to be good or bad present. Some of them want to to show off, you know, to show that he is rich, uh, he is ready to invest, uh, he is ready to do some commitment. And uh, some guys just trying to buy attention of girls. That's also not right. And we will discuss later on why you shouldn't do like this. Mm -hmm. 9 p.m. Australian time. Okay, thanks for hinting. Okay, and you know, guys, uh, actually, there are different stages of relationships, of every relationship beginning, you know, blossoming, and then when you already know each other perfectly, you feel absolutely confident and comfortable uh, together. You can ask some questions, you can, get, uh, you can get answers. And of course, on that stage, it will be much easier for you to do the appropriate present because actually, you know your spouse and you know her hobbies, what she's dreaming about, what she's like, and you, you never shy. And actually, Ukrainian women, they will always hint you. If they feel comfortable with you and uh, they know you well, uh, they actually can hint you and can guide you uh, in what direction about gifts, what they would like to get for birthday, for New Year, for International Women's Day. You know, our women uh, get used to get presents on this every specific holiday, like New Year, <clears throat> Christmas. International Women's Day, maybe Mother's Day, not so important here in Ukraine, not so popular, but still. And of course, happy birthday. And of course, as you are dating men for the first dates and at least maybe sometime from time to time, then you are full of your feelings and emotions and you would like just to make her happy. It's always very nice if you can give her some uh, flowers, let's say, without any reason or not on a, some specific day. So you actually can make her happy and she will appreciate it. So, you know, uh, actually, uh, what you will present, it will depend on the level and stage of your relations. All of you know that for the beginning of relations, it's not necessary to buy expensive and luxurious stuff. We discuss it a lot of times. And of course, I hope, guys, you realize that the quality and meaning of your present will always will be changing from the beginning of your relationship with her. And in the process of your getting knowing each other better, also the quality and the meaning of presence will be changing as well. So if you're talking just at, uh, about the beginning of your relationship, of course, you just want to please her at this moment, to surprise, to look uh, in her eyes as a gentleman, 
to show her your attitude, your serious intentions. But when you already love her, the meaning of presence will be much deeper. You want to make her happy. You want to actually to realize and to make her dreams come true. You know, and it's very important if you listen to her and if you know her heart and if you know her tastes. Actually, when you're already in relations with her and you both feel comfortable with each other, the best and the easiest way to know what to present her, what uh, gift she expects from you, will be to play some simple game. And maybe some of you know already this tip, but uh, if not, it's very easy and simple. Uh, let's say you, you have some specific day ahead, maybe her birthday, maybe International Women's Day, and you don't know, actually, you crack your brains, what she's expect, what she's like uh, to get, and uh, actually, maybe she's dreaming about something. Uh, you can pretend like as if you bought already her present and you can let her know about this. You can say, hey, Helen, let's say, uh, you know, for our coming uh, sp special day, I already bought you a present. It's very nice and I hope you will like it and you will appreciate it because I really spent a lot of time choosing it and I was uh, trying my best and I hope you will be happy. Do you want, uh, do you want to know what's this really? And of course, every woman will be, yes, 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 like a kid. Let's try. Let's try to guess. And by guessing, she will give you actually an idea of what she's dreaming about. Okay? Don't, don't worry if your, if your present uh, was not in the list of her ideas, but still you have idea maybe for the next time. Uh, like she'll say, oh, some ring or a new book about um, cuisine or some whatever, some perfume or some cosmetic specific type. But by giving an answer, uh, it's her subconscious tells you what she actually expects from you. So it's very easy. Of course, it won't work for the first dates. Of course, you need to know each other well, you know, and uh, because uh, otherwise you both guys can be disappointed if you bought her a nice cream, maybe a very expensive one, you know, and uh, her skin is dry or she never used creams or she used just specific brand which ex ex absolutely fits her you know you guys both will be disappointed because you want to do the best and you spend money and it can be expensive thing you know but maybe she doesn't like maybe she she has some allergy you never know you know you know you understand what i'm meaning Mm, Garba, hello, hello, Harry. A nice bouquet of flowers always is a nice gift. Also some good chocolates. Absolutely. Harry, you are professional. You are the best Casanova, I think. And <laughs> you can start your own courses, I think, because you know all the answers on all the questions. I don't know actually what are you doing here because mm, you're always telling what uh, I suppose to tell what I'm thinking. So, <laughs> yeah. And, you know... <clears throat> Uh, some very interesting facts and tips I'm going to give you uh, because, you know, every single present always have their hidden meaning. And uh, I think some of you don't know about this and it will help you also. Maybe it's uh, like a kind of joke, but anyway, sub subconsciously, subconsciously, women will understand your present as, as this. So uh, let's figure out. The first one is shoes good one nice shoes expensive one what does it mean actually it means actually that you are ready to walk with her down uh, the life road because she has very nice legs it's actually the compliment to her legs because you want to make them even more nice and you care about her legs so it means her legs very attractive part of her body for you the second one is lingerie uh, lingerie you know uh, it means that you're very passionate man with the fantasy and it can it can give her some tips and of course given uh, as a present uh, lingerie of course never guys give it for the first day never until you don't have sexual relations with lady until you're not sure about her never it's very intimate very private present and it's not appropriate some women can be really offended and feel uh, like you kind of sexual maniac and you have only sex in your mind it means you're not uh, serious about her you're not going for getting married let's say or building relationship you're thinking just to sleep so lingerie guys you can give as a gift only 
uh, with the woman with whom you have already sexual relations and uh, whom you actually know uh, 100%. And of course, you need to be sure about her size and color, which she prefers, and maybe style. So up to you de to decide, but still take care about lingerie. It can be really a good present, but you need to know 100%. Okay, uh, also jewelry. You are my woman and I'm ready to make you even more beautiful than you are and I'm ready to invest in you. That's good. Uh, perfume. Guys, perfume can be really a good present, but never also for the beginning of relationship. You never know what brand she uses. You never know if she uses perfumes at all. Maybe she has some allergy or don't like to wear perfumes. Or maybe you don't know her taste and uh, what smells she prefers. Some people uh, like fresh and active smells, some uh, decent, you know, some of them like sweet or bitter. So it's very intimate as well. And usually we consider, Ukrainian women consider and even sometimes make a jokes. If the guy uh, give you perfume for the first date or like maybe second, third, okay, at the beginning of a relationship when you actually don't know her well still, it's kind of option which will be always fine. You know, it means you just bought something not to please her. But okay, you think, okay, it will work anyway because any woman uh, likes perf like perfume. So perfume, uh, if you never know specific brand she use, a specific brand she likes and specific uh, smell she likes, uh, it always can be considered like, mm, oh my God. And if you buy, of course, a good perfume, it can be also expensive. So it means it can stand on the table, on the shelf for many years or she will represent it to her mom, to her sister, to her friends. So take care about perfumes as well, only when you know a person uh, very well. Soft toys. You know, these Barbie girls, they like soft toys, some of them. But it's uh, considering more for the younger girl, much younger girl. Uh, for me, girls uh, or women anyway, who prefer as a present soft toys and who like to sleep, to crawl with them, you know, it's kind of infantilism. It means uh, people feel powerless and they always need something or someone warm and cozy uh, to protect them, to take care of them. Uh, so soft toy also a specific present. Uh, not for the first date, absolutely, unless she's asking you, I like teddy bears, so bring me one, please, pink color or something like this. And if you know for sure, she will be happy. Uh, but uh, actually, soft toy means that you will take care of her as her own dead, because she is powerless. So don't forget about this. Be careful also with the soft toys. Uh, number six, guys, it's smartphones, especially with a golden color, you know, like luxurious one with some decorations or very expensive one. It means I want to see your selfies at any time, day or night, my golden sweetheart. Or otherwise, or in other case, uh, you would like to attract her attention, like trying to win her heart, just buying expensive st uh, stuff, showing her your richness and your um, being ready actually to invest big money in her. Uh, what about blender? You know, some uh, kitchen equipment. Blender, not uh, a good present at all. Some women, if you have already wife or if you have a girlfriend, you live together or you know she's dreaming about blender. Maybe she uh, take care about a healthy way of life and she likes smoothie. And you know this 100%. In this case, if you know she's looking for blender and you discuss this, in this case can be not bad present, even good. But if you don't never give her like this, because it actually means... When we get married, my dear, you will make a cocktails for me. It will be useful for you and for me too. So it's kind of, uh, you know, pragmatic present. About pot. Some guys also can bring some pot. Uh, girl, I want some borscht for you. So it means her place is in the kitchen and you don't see actually the woman in here. Also, uh, if you know she's crazy about cooking. 
if she, if you know she's a professional uh, chief, she's uh, trying new dishes, uh, she's looking for new recipes, and you know each other well, and you know maybe she's dreaming about really good quality of pot, expensive one, then in this case it can be really a good present, but obviously not for the beginning of relationship and if you're not sure if she likes to cook or not don't give this type of presents frying pan same but good one of good quality means i'm taking care of you and we will be together forever <laughs> and also guys uh, number 10 the last one nightgown the king needs the queen take off your apron at last it means you want to take her outside you want her to uh, you want to show her uh, to her uh, to your friends maybe to boast with her or maybe it's also kind of hint from you that if she's not taking care a lot about herself and she forget about how beautiful she can be actually because she's busy with everyday routine you know like uh, being busy in the kitchen you know that's the problem of uh, most of housekeepers, okay? They actually abandon themselves. They are just taking care about house, kids, and you. And by giving her this present, uh, you can hint her like you would like to change her style. And uh, it's a hint that she needs to pay attention a little bit more to herself as a woman, not only as a housekeeper, mother, and wife. Just to be a woman. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, I see you have here conversation harry i find personal things are more difficult to choose yes absolutely because if you never know what she will really like you can fail and 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 you both will be disappointed yeah we men certainly me are very good at getting this wrong for example perfume if given a choice i will likely pick the wrong one every time yeah because you think she likes this one and actually uh, she like absolutely different you know so it's very if you are not shy and if you want just to give her perfume or if you know she expect perfume from you like you asking her like you ask your direct question what kind of present of gift you would like to get from me when i will come to see you if she will tell you like mm, i would like to get perfume then don't be shy and ask directly what kind of perfume you like any specific brand or what type of smell you prefer fresh or sweet bitter or old one classic or some like kind of green tea you know or you know a lot of or flower smell something like this so if you <clears throat> if you were brave enough to ask her and if she give you an answer perfume then be brave enough again then to ask to clarify what exactly uh, brand she expect in this case you will never fail of course Mm, Harry, uh -huh. I learn from you every video you do. There are many people who think they're experts, but to have the opinions of Ukrainian woman girl is priceless. Okay. Shashikant, hello, hello. Hi, Vita. Uh, have a suggestion. Is that possible to show kids pictures also with their mother uh, on match guarantee side? Because sometimes men wanted to see kids also, especially those who love kids. No, guys. Uh, no, guys. Uh, and I will explain you why. First of all, um, kids, it's very personal. Also, it's very intimate part of the, uh, of the family, of relationship. And I can tell you, even though we, Ukrainian women, not everybody. Let's, uh, let me explain about myself. I am not sharing a lot of um, photos of my kids, let's say, on Facebook page or some other social networks because of... I'm afraid of some bad energy, especially if your uh, if your kids looking nice, really sweet. You know, some people can be mm, envious, uh, can discuss. I don't want somebody discuss my kids. So in this way, and you know, uh, we cannot actually control what type and what kind of men will enter the website okay will be registered some majority of them of course with their nice purposes okay some serious intentions but i can't be sure you know and uh, uh, that's actually part of intimate process and if you found the woman on the match guarantee website okay and if you're okay if she's a single mother in your introductory letter you can ask her for uh, sending you a photo so you will exchange emails and you you can ask the photo with your kids 
In this case, it's a personal process, intimate process. She knows that only you will see her kids. Some people are stupid enough to show and to share. Mm, I'm not that type of person and I prefer to hide my kids from many, many, many people. Why they should see uh, my kids? So I hope you understand. Mm -hmm. You love kids, especially cute daughters. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's great. And you can also mention in, in your introductory letter that you like kids, especially daughters. And of course, you can ask her uh, for photo together with her daughter and uh, she will actually send you. Mm -hmm. What about a day out uh, at a health spa or beauty salon? That can be really, uh, Harry, that can be really a good present, but also not for the first date. This is for people who know each other well. And let's say spa saloon, spa procedures, not every, not every girl can afford it here in Ukraine. And for some girls, you know, uh, not everybody go to do manicure and the saloon. They do themselves because it's cheaper. And uh, a lot of women dream about day off spending time just for herself enjoying all those procedures to feel like a queen to feel like a woman you know uh, laying lying uh, relaxing getting attention just to her that can be really a good that can be a really good idea uh, but not for the first time okay but actually if you know the person and if you know she is working hard and she is very busy i think every woman will be really happy yeah that's great idea uh, what about books, uh, compact discs and such like? Um, books, compact discs and such like can be not bad present, not for the beginning, not for the first date, if you know her preferences. If you know she's crazy, let's say, about uh, Russian classic literature and maybe you have some specific old one or ancient book and if you know the person collecting them or if you know the person... Uh, has kind of a library at her home and maybe she's looking for some specific book you know sometimes even i i'm looking for some specific book uh, for psychology especially i'm interested in uh, kids psychology how to raise up kids in a uh, good way without punishment without the screaming shouting but actually how to raise them uh, happy people and some books really expensive. When I look in the internet, of course, I'm trying to download them for free or to read at least a part to have an idea. But some of them really expensive. So if you know the person is looking for the specific book and cannot afford or if she is crazy about, who know, Bob Marley. OK, you know, she's a fan of Bob Marley and she's collecting maybe or she likes the music also can be a very good present why not but for the first date you should remember present always should be very romantic very romantic very specific surprising and we ukrainian women we are from old uh, traditional dating school you know so we just expect you to behave as a gentleman to bring some flowers to bring some sweets uh, not just any chocolate you know bought in the nearest supermarket but if you come from america from uk from australia i'm sure you can have a lot of nice decorated sweet boxes you know with maybe uh, some nice um, flowers or some some pictures something like this uh, not cheap one but good in interesting and maybe your traditional national sweets which you sure uh, it call it only can be produced in australia of a high quality also would be very fine hello david hello 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 it's a very sad reflection on society that your advice on kids is a very safe thing to do yeah uh, i and i think uh, women mm, don't want uh, to share uh, their kids mm, their kids photos with a lot of unfamiliar people you know because every person has his own mm, th thoughts imagination you know and you never know how it can influence we we ukrainian women we live in spirituality a lot we live in bad eye we live in envy and being jealous in some sometimes some magic procedures you know and it really exists i don't want to be involved right now but it, it can be really a separate stories our women would like to go to fortune tellers you know a lot mm, but uh, you you understand what what I mean actually, 
okay guys uh for now i would like to ask you for two three minutes break okay i will get back to you i want to remind everybody that today we are discussing good and bad present how to avoid mistakes how not to attract gold digger and how not actually to spoil your relationship at the beginning by simply giving the wrong gift okay i'm going to give you some tips furthermore okay in part number two also don't forget to subscribe our channel in the lower right of your screen and i'll be back just in three minutes and see you again we continue our uh, discussion please uh, if you have some ideas about presents you can always ask me if i'm thinking it's a good present and for what stage of your relationships okay so uh, stay tuned and i'll be back just in few minutes bye guys